Hi guys, I still haven't made my mind if I wanted to film this video or not, but I guess I'm already filming it, so here we go. I have an experiment, guys, and I want to make you part of it. So this is the, this is the thing, this is the scenario. Um, I have been feeling really unmotivated this past couple of years. This past couple of years, this past couple of weeks. <laughs> um, maybe it has to do because I am tired and sick, but I don't feel like myself. I feel very unmotivated and I'm, I'm going through a period of very low creativity. Um, I feel like during Japan, during my trip to Japan, I had a very good, like, oh my god, I want to do so many things. And then I flew back to Hastings and then I haven't stopped since then. I haven't had a moment to catch up or like check in with me. And I feel very tired. Most of the times, guys, and I don't want to say all of the times, but most of the times, if you feel unmotivated or you're low in creativity, it has to do because you're tired. If you're not producing, if you're not being productive while working, it has to be because you're tired. So I think the first step in this thing is that you have to rest. Not rest only physically, I mean like sleeping well and having the amount of hours that you need every night to sleep um, and to just like reconnect with you and recharge, but also mentally. Most of the times we're never our own, like we're never alone. We never check in with our thoughts. We never meditate. We never spend time just like breathing, <laughs> breathing really deep and like going on a walk and just like clear your head. So this past couple of nights I have been trying to uh, not work. Um, I'm being experiencing something really shitty right now, guys, in which I'm uh, in, a, in a vicious, vicious circle because when I work, I feel really tired and I want to rest, but I just keep going. And when I want to rest and I do take a break, I feel guilty because I know I should be working and feeling productive even when I'm resting. So I try to draw and do something and like upload an Instagram stories and so on. And I don't know about you guys, but this is, this is like, um, it's going to be very detrimental <laughs> to me. And I already can see the effects of me pushing my boundaries. Like right now, I am sick and I, am, I feel really disconnected to what I do and to my work. So I want to take you along this trip. It will be a magical trip between you and me to reconnect with motivation and creativity. I want to do all the things on the list, <laughs> all the things that I do to get back to who I, am, who I am as an artist and who I am as a person, creative and motivation-wise. So let's jump in together. How can I show you this? So this is going to be the illustration I did. This is the illustration I'm going to upload to Instagram today. And I had to take the page off of my sketchbook because I need to retrace this on my... Um, light box. It's not a box, it's like a tablet. Um, it's very thin. Anyway, and I decided to use this paper. Let me show you what I mean. I bought this paper in Japan, in Tokyo, and it's a B5, um, like random, plain, light blue paper. I also bought, oh my god, this one which is a pink one, but I thought this time it would be great to do this illustration in two colors, two different colors, like one side and the other side two colors. This is exactly, guys, what I'm struggling right now. And I think why I feel so unmotivated and my creativity is on a low point because of this. Because when I work, I am tired, I can't concentrate, um, I can't seem to do anything and I procrastinate a lot. But when I'm taking a break, I feel guilty about taking a break. I know, I'm like, this is this is the worst me, guys. This is sick, guys. This is my vicious circle right now. And it's never been at this lowest point, I think. Um, usually I have to, I have really good self-control about taking a break and resting. But right now I am all over the place. Me 
feel like, well, I can do anything. Like, if I can do this, I can do anything. And it's before, before we do the most, some, sometimes before we do the most impactful things in our lives, we're going to have, like, the most anxiety before it. Because you're, you know that you're going into this phase of change and transition and nothing's going to be the same anymore after that. And so you're kind of scared. So right now I'm working on this illustration. Um, usually when I upload things to Instagram, I try to work on two illustrations at a time. And it's very hard to explain <laughs> what is this, but it's basically when some things you feel like you do all day long. So they're like tiring things that you feel they take forever to do, but they actually take 15 minutes. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessarily funny, but it's like observational things that I would love to share with you guys. Hi guys, it's I think three o'clock and I decided to go out at least 15 minutes because today is a sunny day here in Hastings, which is kind of weird. I mean, for this time of the year. <laughs> and even though I am kind of a, in between a cold and I don't feel like 100% myself, I feel like I need sunshine in my face at least for 10 minutes and I need to clear my head. This is the thing guys, another big flaw of mine is that there's very few instances in my week in which I am completely by myself without listening to a podcast or without talking to someone. It's very strange that I am, not strange, it's very weird, it's very rare that I am on my own, by myself, talking to myself, as crazy as that sounds. And I feel like when you're overwhelmed or when you're um, going through um, a really stressful period in which motivation is not at the best, at your best, it's not at the best uh, level, or your inspiration is not there, or you feel just like tired all the time, reconnecting with you, I think is the first step. So right now, I am doing this very small step, just like walking around by myself, without music, without um, talking to anyone, and just like check in and maybe do something nice for myself. Hi guys, so today is Friday. So today I think I'm going to draw a little and I'm going to read. So all of the books that you see right now are the books that either I want to check or I have to read because I need inspiration now, guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to tick all the boxes, all the things that make me feel good and inspire, um, like candles or, um, I don't know, drink coffee or read books or read my favorite authors or even go to museums. I'm going to do everything on this video. <laughs> so um, today I'm going to invest in my inspiration and my motivation. That sounded very cheesy. Uh, by reading and doing research and just like reconnect with my inspiration side. So guys, I don't know if you remember, but yesterday I was working on this illustration and I don't know why, but when I was falling asleep yesterday, I had an idea. So I never redo these illustrations because they meant to be simple and just like quick and easy to do and just uploading. I upload them on Instagram. <laughs> but then I figured it might be funnier if I drew myself as a skull. <laughs> so this morning I spent, I think, 45 minutes or a half an hour redesigning this illustration. And I think it's funny. I don't know. It's not like, ha ha ha, I'm laughing so hard. But at least. I think if it improved the message. So when I said I want to tick all the boxes and do everything on the list to get inspired and motivated again, I meant it, guys. So yesterday I went to London to spend a day with myself, to have a date with myself. 
and honestly guys I don't remember the last time I went to a museum so I went to the National Gallery one of my favorite museums in London which is also free wink wink in case you want to go and it was so nice to be surrounded again by my favorite paintings it's very interesting guys because a couple of years ago I would have said that my favorite paintings were very realistic but now I have been more drawn into the Impressionism uh, as a movement. I don't know why I'm being so drawn into the paintings, especially uh, the gas, I think. Um, I fell in love with this painting and I, oh God, I don't know, I love going to a museum. And then afterwards I, I went to the London Graphic Center, which is a big art supply shop in downtown in Soho in London. And this is the thing, guys, and I want to say you this looking at you right now, okay. It's very easy, guys, to think that we're going to feel motivated and inspired when we buy art supplies. Because there's nothing more sweet in this world, and there's nothing more amazing and, I don't know, crisp and nice and wonderful than new art supplies. Those, they smell amazing. They are amazing, they're new, they're fresh, they're ready to be used. But I think that's like, that's an illusion, my loves. Because once you start using the art supplies, the motivation and inspiration will go away. That's the problem with your new art supplies. So this time, even though I went to the London Graphic Center and I smell all the sketchbooks and <laughs> I touch all the papers and I try all the pencils, I was actually the worst customer ever. I decided not to buy something because I don't want to rely in the idea of new art supplies are going to change this situation in which I am right now because they're not going to change it. It will be like a temporary fix, like a temporary solution. So I want to fight this until the end. And to be honest, guys, I have so many sketchbooks. Most of them, they're unused and I bought them on a shopping spree. Um, maybe in the same scenario, like I want to get motivated and inspired and they're still on the cover. They're still on the drawer waiting to be used. And so that's why I am restraining myself from buying new things and just like sit and use the old ones, which are not old they're new, but <laughs> they haven't been used so far and I don't know guys um, with this I am not saying don't buy art supplies ever again because if you really need them please do but don't is you don't need new art supplies to produce nice work you don't need expensive art supplies to do an amazing job or to feel legit or to be an amazing illustrator or an awesome artist you just need yourself everything that you need to work on right now is here and it's here that's it like you don't need new tools you not you don't need the expensive tools and i just want to say this out loud because when i was younger when i was in university and in school i thought that was the trick you needed the best books you needed new things you needed the expensive things and you seriously don't today i feel Pretty much the same, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Maybe it has to do with the idea that motivation and inspiration is like a plant. <laughs> yes, I am going to do that analogy. And you have to take care of that plant and not wait until the last minute or don't wait. You don't have to wait until the plant is dying to actually, taking, to actually take care of her or him. <laughs> so I feel like I neglected my plant for so long uh, maybe because of time or because I have been really busy or because I've been traveling so much and now I have to um, invest a couple of days maybe weeks into this thing until I go back in track with this video guys I knew the results I knew that they were not going to be oh my god I feel like a new person right now I am a new friend and now I feel so motivated and inspired and I don't want I want to do all the work and the stuff no because I knew it was going to take more than five days to get back to this state uh, to that state so that's why it was um, a risky thing to do to film this video because I don't want to make you feel discouraged or like disappointed. 
Um, sometimes these things take, ti take time. Maybe you watch a movie and you feel completely and totally inspired, and maybe you don't. Like, maybe it takes more than that. And in my case, it might be take more than this, more than what you just saw, because I it's been a crazy year. So I am totally up for waiting and keep feeding, watering this plant <laughs> until I feel better and how I used to feel. Of course, I am not going to stop working, guys, stop illustrating, stop uploading illustrations to Instagram. I'm not going to stop reading books and watching movies and going to museums because this thing, it only comes when you're working, when you're uh, you're, when you're having grit, when you're working hard, so I am not going to stop. So yeah guys, I think the rest for the rest of this very relaxing Sunday, I think I'm going to keep drawing and finish the illustrations that I did with you guys at the museums and at the coffee shops and yeah, maybe watch some Studio Ghibli movies because that's like the, the last thing on the list. Yeah, let me know your list of getting back to feeling motivated and inspired. I would love to know, guys, your rituals or the things you do when you're feeling inspired. Inspired, is that a word? Unmotivated, uh, because I would love to know and because I might do it as well. So yeah, thank you so, so, so much to all of my patrons because they allow me to film these videos and upload them on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video and for all of you who have purchased the planner so far and all of the calendar and weekly schedules and the planning range and you guys are amazing. I hope this video was super useful for you. Have an amazing week, weekend, morning, uh, night, etc, etc. I love you guys so freaking much. Bye bye guys. <laughs>